playing uh, Panzer Models, which is the tank dating simulator. Uh, whatever. We're going with the German tank girls to the store to get some dough and not juice, because that will be dad. Dark and bad. So let's do that. Ding dong. Oh, oh, Ramoon. I love Ramoon. Ramoon, the noodle stuff? It's a soda with a marble in it. Oh, I've gotten that. Ew, why would you... L, why would you eat a marble? <laughs> you don't eat the marble, Mom's Chan! Then what's the point of the marble? It's cute! Did I miss something? Nope. Oh. Nope. It's just Panzer IV being... Well... Panzer IV. OMG! This little cat oven mitt is so kawaii! I mean, we already have mitts back at the school. We're just here for ingredients. Cats scare me. Huh? Ooh, here! I think the Japanese show you! Soy sauce. Wow, Erwin, you're really smart! What are we here for again? Eggs, flour, chocolate chips, milk, olive oil, butter. Ooh, squid! Panzer IV shouts as she runs off down the aisle. Squids, squid scare me too. Wait up, don't leave. Ugh. I, I can't keep up with her. It's okay, Erwin. I can't keep up even with infantry. She gets a bit odd when she's around Japanese stuff. I mean, besides that, she's pretty much uh, everything you could want for in a tank. I mean, besides that, she's pretty much everything you want for, you could want for an, whatever. There's nothing else you could want? You know, I never did see service. Uh... I'm back! Did you miss me? Yes, and please go... And please get your cousin to stop hitting on me. Aw, oh, Panzer IV. You always pick the shy ones, don't you? She giggles. Oh, well, I... It's not like... Heh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what did you find? J just some milk, eggs, pucky, flour, sugar, wasabi, and a German claim on Brislau. I don't think we need wasabi for the bake sale. So Brislau's still on the plate? Brick, God, please. Put back all that extra junk. But, but I'm, I'm hungry. Okay. All right, are, are you hungry too, Mouse? Lunch sounds good. I'm so hungry. I could down a munitions dump worth of food. Ugh, I'm so jealous, Mouse. Anything you eat, just go straight to your... Your... Help me out here, Erwin. You know what? I'm staying out of this one. Gah! Erwin Baka, I was going to say hips. You know, as much as I love to keep hearing this discussion, do we have a bake sale to run? Food first! Bake later! Oh, uh, alright. What are you feeling like for food? Huh. I'm feeling like a little like Poland. <coughs> Polish sausage. Yes! Polish... Poland-ish sausage sounds so good right now! You guys are weird. The next day... All right, everyone. I'm sure you know why I've called you here. Ooh, the allies have kept. Oh, cap oh, fuck. Ooh, the allies have capitulated. No, it's the. Our ban appeal has been approved. No, would you let me fit? Ah, uh, fucking. It's a Polish girl. Yeah, I don't know fucking what her. 
Ah, you found the Light Music Club enough money to buy our first instrument. No! Wait, do you even go to this school? Ooh, do you even go here? Who are you again? I'm 7TP. What country are you from? P Poland. P Poland. Is that still a country? Is that still a country? Uh, of course, Poland is one of the oldest countries in Europe. Oh god, I see one. Da Poland is a small Soviet province. Okay, I I fucking voices too many. Damn it. Poland cannot be into re relevant. Uh, whatever. That's awesome. You can totally join my after school club then. Bob, you're you're not helping. <clears throat> As I was saying, I've called you all here to announce the results of our fundraising drive. Thanks to everyone pulling together and working as a team, we've raised a grand total of 20, uh, two, uh, yeah, anyway, 2,900,000, 20, 290,000 yen. So we're short 10,000 yen? I'm really sorry, everyone. I know how hard you were. Hold it right there, you lot. Sarge. You maggots are not spending the weekend here. I've been waiting all year for this trip and recruit Lemmer's inability to mount the tank and shell is not screwing this up for me now. Sarge, I don't think this that's really the cause of the God damn it recruit, let me finish. I was assigned to chaperone this trip and there's no way in hell I'm missing out on it. The train leaves at 0600. Get your shit in gear and be there on time, tanks. Are you saying that you're paying for the God damn it recruit, I bet your mother wish she swallowed you? Dismissed! Holy shit, that's awesome. Chugga chugga choo choo, motherfucker. The train ride is smooth and quiet for once. In fact, you might even be the only ones actually on the train. The tank girls will split off into two groups. Tiger and Panzer Force an answer to the giggling and pointing out the window, while Sherman annoys T-34 with their concert yammering. Nope, going with Panzer and T- uh, Yep, yeah, there you go. Hey, you two, Panzer IV, Tiger. Oh, Moshi Moshi Irwin. Hi, Erwin. No, oh, what was it? Do you still want to sit with us? Sure. What are you guys talking about? Nothing really. Just that the Japanese countryside is surprisingly beautiful. <laughs> and giant robot free. No wonder you're allies. I mean, if Japan had built super heavy robots, they'd probably have won the war. No way. They would have built generalist machines. We're not even robots. Name one time in history where a country should have focused on not building super awesome heavy machines. That's ironic. What do you think, Erwin? Wonder weapons. Uh, well, personally, I've always thought... <laughs> train shakes violently as it enters the tunnel, and all the lights go dark. It feels like I might skip a rail and fly off into the mountainside. Wow. Wow! What was that, Desu? Not a clue. Trains are so scary. I don't like being inside of them. And the ones in the U.S. are always late. I once knew a man who could fix that. A few months later, lights flicker back on. Phew! That was sort of scary. Yeah, that was kind of spooky. It if it if it really crashed, I'd probably crush you in the rollover. That's dark. You mean crush him again, right? Uh, no, it's it. Don't worry about it, Tiger. Nurse says I probably won't lose the leg. What? Well, I'm I'm so sorry. Well, I'm only I'm only joking. I'm fine. See, I'm really looking around to show that it works. <laughs> Don't tease me like that, Erwin. She punches you in the shoulder. Oh, okay. That one does still hurt. Tiger smirks at you. I read that in her voice. All right, whatever. All right, my bad. Better. Hey, it looks like we're here. <sighs> oh, 
Oh man, this looks awesome. You said it, new guy. I'm so excited. Well, let's go get checked in. You walk into the lobby of the Onsen Hotel, and all around you the atmosphere reflects a modern interpretation of the traditional Japanese style. The young woman behind the check-in counter smiles at you softly and gives a polite bow as your group approaches. The still, serene sound of water flowing puts you at ease before... Oh my gosh! It's, it's, it's so kawaii! This of your group cringes in unison. The woman behind the counter gives you a look of understanding. Is this your f is this your first time visiting us? <laughs> yes, we're with the tank school group. Oh, perfect. We already have your three rooms line set up, and the onsen is just uh the perfect temperature today. That's great. Let's drop off our bags and wait. Three rooms? Of course. Can we go to a room like normal? Oh, so I guess I'm bunking with. Oh, baby. Walking with you then, Tiger? Uh, isn't that a bit... Behind a voice, soft yet still filled with the rage of a thousand ruck, uh, marches, whispers. <laughs> Unfortunately not, recruit. Ah, oh, Sergeant. God, don't scare me like that. Do <coughs> not raise your voice in an onsen. Do! <coughs> Do not raise your voice in an onsen. Haven't you ever seen a goddamn anime recruit? Uh, no, Sergeant. Well, then you're in for a shock, recruit. Now hurry up and get your ass changed so we can relax. Right away, sir. God, I have to hurry up to relax. What sort of trip is this? Obviously, I'll be rooming with, uh... The, uh, Sarge, obviously. You head to your assigned room, chain into your swimsuit and wrap a towel around your waist. Shortly afterwards, you make your way down the hallway to the onsen itself. To the left, it leads outside, and the cold chill of the night air wafts into the yellow uh, hallway. Before you can reach the curtain, though, you bump into the rest of your group. Gah, Erwin, what are you doing here? What? I thought we were all going to the end of the onsen. Oh gosh, Erwin! It's not the mixed bathing. Why not? Isn't this just a hot pool? Ha! Ah, uh, Erwin! Guys, bathe on the other side. Oh, uh, sorry then. But like, why isn't? God, everyone, stop staring. Just go to your side. Right. Make your way around to the other side and step on outside into the onsen area, and it's entirely empty, except for the sergeant who is already lounging in the water in full uniform. In full uniform. Are you shitting me right now? That's hilarious. Oh, what the hell. Get on in here, recruit. The water's fine. Oh, right, Sarge. Take your towel off before stepping in. The sergeant begins to hoot with laughter. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, recruit. Don't you know? No bathing suits in the onsen. What do you mean, sergeant? It's nude bathing, recruit. Nude? Wait, does that mean all of them under their towels? Hell, Sarge, you're still in your fuel uniform, though. Recruit, once you wear the uniform for so long, it just becomes a second skin. That makes absolutely no sense. You know, Recruit, those tank girls are just over that wall there. Aye, Sergeant? If I sat on your shoulders, I could probably see over. I guess I should be thankful you kept the uniform on, Sergeant. But that's beside the point. Do I have to order you? This is wrong on so many levels. Plus, I don't think that qualifies as a lawful order. God damn it, recruit. Just give me a sorrow for up your ass and see them when you talk. Well, let's at least stick our ears up to the wall and listen. God, I'm getting out. Cute yourself, recruit. I've all the fun to myself. Right, Sergeant. What a perverted freak. Oh, God. All right, you get your out of the hot spring and dry yourself off as you walk back down the hallway to your room. God, even the sergeant is such a pervert. How the hell did he get a teaching job anyway? Once in your room, you get changed back into your normal clothes and make your way towards the lobby. 
Maybe I should find one of the girls. Or I could try and find some dinner in town. I'm sure there has to be something to eat in this tourist trap. Definitely finding the girls, because fuck everything else. Heh. <laughs> Guess I should figure out what the girls have gotten themselves into. You listen for the sounds of giggling and feminine laughter and follow them to the giggle... to the gaggle of girls. Tanks. Recovering or cooing over the hot springs, uh, local rabbit. Aw, who's a little ball of fluff? He's so cute and soft, oh my goodness. His ears, they please me greatly. Oh, what an adorable bunny. Hey, Erwin, didn't expect to see you here. Erwin! We were about to go out into the town for some fun when this little guy came over out of the bush. Da, I wish to scoop him up and make him the class pet. Ooh, ooh, let's do it! I don't know, Gunny. Hi, everyone. What are we looking- Oh my god, a bunny! Her transmission squeals and shrieks as she tries to stop. The bunny scrambles away before anyone can stop it. No, come back. Why does no one love me? That is not true. Yo, Panzer IV, want to head out? Uh, this got awkward. Hi, hi. You should come too, Erwin. Come on, Tiger. Let's go back to your room. I'll cheer you up. Well, that sounds fucking wrong. Uh, okay. Do you think Erwin will come with us? She says as she walks away with T-34. Oh. I want to go to... I, I like Tiger. I'll come with you guys. That's sweet of you, Erwin. But you don't have to hang... But you don't have to hang out with us. No problem. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. That whole rabbit thing. I, I didn't mean to scare it off. I just got excited and didn't want to miss seeing the cute bunny. He was pretty cute. Perhaps belong in their dens in the woods. It's a good thing he ran, or uh, Panzer IV would have scooped him up and made him the class mascot. He was quite cute, though. The cutest mascot ever, and I... I scared him off. Tiger, it's fine. You've been terrifying Russians for years. T-34, that's, that's not helping. Sorry, Tiger. Just trying to be positive. I sure wish she could have been our class pet, though. Oh, Ito. It's okay. Do you think you would have been happier as our mascot? No, his place is in the woods. You didn't do anything wrong, Tiger. I might just go away to the train station and go home. Hey, Tiger! Wait up! Huh? I'll walk with you, at least. Oh, thank you. Don't feel bad. Huh? About the bunny. Don't feel bad. But everyone was so happy and, and I scared it off. That's okay, Tiger. You, you didn't mean to. Yeah, I, I didn't. My, my transmission just jammed up again. It takes a skilled hand. That it does. I knew a man once. Whiffman. He knew how to treat a tank, girl. Whitman? Huh, you mean Michael Whitman? Of course. The man might have gotten his start at a, in a stug, but I the tiger was his muse. He was wonderful. It's a shame what happened. Huh? Do you ever blame Sherman? Uh, no, she wouldn't do something like that, would she? <coughs> uh, read, read somewhere it was uh, a British operative. <laughs> Probably a Matilda tank. No, it's definitely a Sherman Firefly. Keep it cool, Erwin. Keep it cool. Lies and slander. The Matilda could never defeat me, let alone defeat Michael Whitman. Of course not, silly Matilda. They are silly. Very silly. We walk down into the town together. It's beautiful, and not too chilly. After a bit, Tiger turns to you. It's wonderful weather here, huh? So glad we were able to afford it in the end. 
You helped a lot with that, huh? <laughs> nah, I mean, a little. It was my pleasure. Erwin, can I ask you something? Uh, sure. Do you ever feel like you have never live up to everyone's expectations? That's, uh, it's a very deep question. I I'm sorry, did I overstep? No, 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 it it's, it's fine. If you say so, I mean, I have a lot of pressure on me to succeed. Not just at this school, but on the front as well. Beyond not dying, I mean. Oh. My mother always told me that my great-grandfather was a war hero. She, uh... She said that Dad went to the Air Force because he was afraid of not living up to the great-grandfather's reputation. What was his name? Your great-grandfather, I mean. I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Mom never told me. Family can be weird. I know. Everyone here expects me to be the best. You know, Tiger, the super heavy tank, the legend of the Zweit Vutzkrieg. And I try really hard. I give it my all, but it's really stressful. My transmission breaks. I run out of fuel. My suspension can barely handle my weight. But I keep trying and trying and trying so that maybe I'll make it. And everyone will be proud of me. You know, maybe we should both take a step back and just make ourselves happy. Erwin, we're in public. No, 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 I mean, we should try to meet our own standards, not everyone else's. Yeah, that's what I meant. Who cares what my great-grandfather was? I'm not him, I'm me. Huh, Lemmer. The name is sounding more and more familiar every day. Huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. You know, let's go back to the hot springs. I got all worked up over nothing. Jowl! I don't know what the fuck that means. Hee <laughs> hee. Erwin, you're so funny. And with that, I bid you guys adieu. I'm going to end this episode here. And I'll see you guys probably in, what, next week? Probably. Anyway, 